My name is Lily McKinney and I'm studying biological engineering with a concentration in ag. I mostly deal with agricultural waste. I put a lot of this waste into a GCMS machine. It basically gives me the chemical makeup of whatever I put into it. The machine does all the work and the computer shows you the data and it's your job to go through and analyze it. Usually the two types of samples we put in here are headspace or direct liquid. If they're gas, we collect headspace from them in a glass syringe and I insert around two microliters into the machine and I run it over a method. There's various different methods and the specs of the method are determined by time and temperature and how the kind of process it goes through within the machine. So we run a method right now that lasts about 41 minutes and it's able to identify those compounds. It's very similar for the liquid, I'm able to pull up the liquid into a glass syringe and insert it into the same inlet. For a project I recently worked on, I went to the East Coast and collected a bunch of pig slurry and we put samples from the site into the machine, but we also treated some of the slurry with additives like enzymes to reduce odor. So we put that into the machine and then the control and treatment results showed how it was eliminating like VOCs or odor controls and what the chemical makeup was of the treatment and control. I'm not the only one who uses this machine. I've been running samples for other people in different labs. It's really useful and the more you work with it, the more you learn. I ended up putting that I had GCMS analysis as one of my skills on my resume and one of the soil scientists at the career fair was like, oh wow, like do you have access to this here at NC State? It's big in the industry and I'm so glad employers recognized that I had experience with it. Dr. Kolar is really supportive and he's always so upbeat and positive and you, you can do no wrong. He's all about safety but he's okay with any mistakes. It was very welcoming to come into his lab, especially as a new employee.